and welcome. My name is Melody from Melody Crochet and today we are going to be reviewing a yarn. This one's from Lion Brand. It is called Rewind Tape Yarn and it is so different and so interesting. I know that a lot of us are buying yarn online right now so I wanted to give you a feel for what this was like just in case you were considering it because it is to me very different from what it appears like in the pictures of it online. Either on Lion Brand's website or I'll link down below if you want to pick it up over on Amazon. And I wanted you to get a chance to take a peek. This is the Arctic Ice, so it's a light gray. I believe they have a darker gray and a white and they have several other colors. I picked mine up over at Joann's. It was $5 and you get 219 yards, which is 100 grams and it's bulky weight. One ball will make a hat, one ball will make a scarf and four balls to make a sweater, which, interesting. It must be a small scarf, because all the patterns that I'm seeing for it online take two balls to make a hat. So this is a surprise, if nothing else. I wanted to make a certain hat that I'm going to give a try. I believe it's a Sorella hat, the hat by Sorella. I know that Make and Do Crew and Sorella came out with some floppy brim hats to make with this and it took two so I had to go back and get more. I tried recording this review yesterday but I ran I was gonna run out before I finished the item so that was kind of a bummer. So I have made my swatch. I'm going to be answering the top 10 questions that I want answered before I consider buying yarn online and we will take it from there and see how it is. So just one more peek. This is a tape yarn, flat, it almost, call me crazy, it has the feel of dryer sheet. Not quite that terrible, it's a little bit more durable. I pulled on it, it took quite a bit of pressure, but I was able to pull it and tear it. And it's very felty, very soft, much softer than it would appear. I've worked with tape yarn before, but never this wide. The tape yarn I've always had was probably about half as wide as this, but just as flat. I believe one would be called Barocco Suede. I have four balls of that in my stash, actually, because there was a certain tank top that I want to make with that. I saw all the colors together. It was discontinued for quite a while before I saw that, so I put it in my stash. Someday, it's knitted. I'm not a fast knitter. But back to this, just in case. So size five bulky, and they're suggesting a K hook for crochet, or a size 10 and a half if you're knitting. And oh my gosh, that sweater that they have knitted on the front, how pretty is that? How fun. My swatch did turn out huge. I was thinking that the yarn would compress too much to actually be a bulky size, but no, sized up as bulky just right. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. I have to tell you right off the bat, I'm in love, in love with this yarn. It is so soft and it just feels so good on your hook and running through your hands. That's where I tore it. I gave it a pretty good pull before it would pull. Not terrible. You're not gonna do it on accident on your hook by any means. And as always with my swatches, I do three rows of double crochet three rows of half double crochet, three rows of single crochet, three rows of granny stitch, couple rows, I think I only got to two rows of the V stitch, and a little scallop edge. And I will say it, while perhaps you could incorporate some open stitches into your project, I wouldn't make a project fully of it. And that's an opinion though. I mean, you might love the look of that but I do think it really shines in those closed stitches. Isn't that beautiful? And I, once again, it felt so good. 10 questions and about yarn that I like to hear before or know about before I, per before I purchase online. Now the average price is going to be at $4.99. You'll find sales, of course, online, 20% off coupons for Lion Brand through their website and their email. You'll find several sales if you go the Joann's route, and then there's the Amazon if you're just looking for the convenience of having it quickly. 
and colorways. There is eight colorways that are solid. Those are all rather muted. They have a very soft pink that was very pretty also. Then they have the five combos, which are short enough color repeats that I personally wouldn't love it for crochet. You might love it, but it's gonna look very confetti. Probably get about four stitches if you're using your K hook, which is suggested. If you're using your K hook, you'll probably get about four stitches before the next color change. And the colors are so drastically different, different that they're not going to smoothly transfer into one another. It's gonna look pretty confetti. And then packaging. Now, this is the inside after I crocheted with it. Everything looks pretty smooth. It's getting rippled because inside it was probably held tight from the outside strands. But you might notice there's a little bit of fluffing and fraying on the outside of the ball. If you, or if you buy it from somewhere that it's been on the shelf, it might have a little bit of fray. Aside from that, it looks pretty good as far as the packaging goes. It has a nice label, holds up pretty well on the shelf. But like I said, the strands that are touching the outside there, it's such a felty yarn that it might be a little bit frayed. But no harm, no foul. Then, is it splitty? Not at all. It's a ribbing yarn. It's not going to split in any way, shape, or form. Let me show you this strand. You're not splitting that. Is it stretchy? Now, the actual outcome is a bit stretchy, but the strand itself, if you pull it to stretch it, it's gonna get skinny and it's gonna stay skinny. So I wouldn't suggest doing anything with this that it's gonna pull it like crazy because you will chance breaking it and it does get a little bit of mar. So of itself, it is not stretchy and if you do stretch it, by pulling it really, really hard, you will kind of damage the yarn. Is it drapey? No, not at all. It just kind of stays up there, which is why it's so great for these brimmed hats. That's actually part of the bonus. A lot of yarns aren't gonna stand up to it. This isn't like Red Heart Super Saver against the drape. It's just, it's almost like you're using raffia or something that you would use to make a hat with a brim. No drape. Although, if you go with a big needle and you're knitting, um, I guess the same would go for a really big crochet hook. That looks pretty drapey on her. What size hook do they use for what she's wearing? I wonder. Is it inside? We're gonna take the label off. Just see if that pattern's inside, if it's just a link to the website. Link to the website. But that looks like, if they used a size six and a half on that, I'd be surprised. Because it looks like they went really big on the hook to get that drape. I know I would have to. And, so not drapey, unless you go really high up on your hook or needles. Is there any sheen? I would say no. There is a slight reflection that I saw in the ball. You can see it playing off the lamp over there, just a little bit, but mostly that's just a shadow that's cast. I would call it about as reflective as a regular gray sweatshirt. So no, not sheeny. Yarn, is there any squeak? None at all. It was like crocheting with a used dryer sheet. It was so soft and fluffy and cozy, but not overly warm, which is really nice right now. We are having a super muggy day here in Texas. It is, we're having a reprieve from our regular heat wave that's going on right now. We're about 96, 97, which is high for our June. And then we had a little, I think we went down to 90 today, but we got some thunderstorms and it's so muggy that this was really nice because I've been making my afghan all week. It's coming along. I'm about to split for the part of the flag where you only have stripes for half of it. Really excited because those stripes are going to go a lot faster. But I've been under acrylic for the last couple days pretty monogamously. And this was a really nice break from that. So 
not too toasty, no yarn squeak. It was really fun. And size. It is right on for a bulky weight yarn if you use a K hook. I was so surprised. It didn't look like it was going to be. It looked like it would compress down to nothing if not. I mean, if it compressed down to worsted, I would have been surprised. But no, it, re it really is a bulky weight yarn. So pleased to see that because this is so much fun. These projects are going to fly off your hook. And is it awesome? Yes, I highly suggest. Some stores are getting a little low on it. Hopefully they will keep their quantities up high on the website. I'm honestly not sure when Rewind came out. We had all the crazy hubbub going on. It could have come out in March for all I know. And right now it's June. So if you have a chance to grab some, I highly suggest it. I might go back and get some just in case. I would hate to see this end up on the clearance shelves before anybody got a chance to use it just because of all the craziness going on. So if you do get a chance, highly recommend head on out and try Lion Brand Rewind. I really like it. Let me know if you've had it, if you've been using it before. Let me know if there's any other yarn that you've been trying or thinking of trying that you'd like to see me experience too and share it with me. Down in the comments would be greatly appreciated. Have a great day. I will see you soon. Bye.